How do you think Republicans should play this? Oh, I think we should stick to our guns. <laughs> and, uh, you know, George reminded me of something I said to him back in 94 when I ran for the Senate in, in Pennsylvania. He said, how am I going to win? And I said, guns. Uh, this, and I don't think that, I think it's even more important issue for people today, given the increasing level of violence in our society. People feel unsafe. And, and, and having a gun and gun ownership is, uh, is, is part of how people can feel safer. And when you look at the, in my opinion, the, in, the, in, the disingenuousness of, of, the, uh, of the administration, they met with the NRA, uh, as you know, Joe Biden did, and uh, the NRA brought up the fact that prosecutions for gun crimes and prosecutions for uh, people who fill out, uh, who lie on their, on their registration forms or gun forms are down under this administration. The vice president responded, we don't have time to devote to seeing whether people fill out a form right. Well, wait a minute. They're asking for more forms, and, and they're saying they don't have the time to fill out, to, to check what, what is. is. Are they serious about this, or is this just about politics? Uh, well, first of all, let's be clear about why there has been fewer enforcements. I mean, the head of the, NR, the, head of the ATF has been failed. There's been a failure to confirm because the NRA has been objecting. The NRA has objected to reasonable, pragmatic solutions, and that's what this is all about. This is not about taking people's guns away. It's about a narrow set of proposals that will enable us to help enforce the existing gun laws, the ban on assault weapons, and a ban on high-capacity magazines, and even a ban on armor-piercing bullets are overwhelmingly supported right. by the citizenry. 50% of men, 59% of women support an assault ban. Uh, assault weapons ban. Same number for a ban on high capacity magazines. I think the president views this. He is really, he sees himself as the protector in chief.